Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We are in Goldcrest Valley, we are logging, and you can hear me now, right? I hope so, because last time you couldn't. <laughs> I recorded a whole episode, and filled up the, the IT runner completely, and made a big mess of the place otherwise, oh, way over there, and got to editing and found that I'd made a huge blunder before I did this I'm kind of wanting to get ready for the next installment of craft the world and so I wanted to record the theme song and the way that I do that is I'll record a video with the theme of the of the game going then I'll render that into an audio file and I'll take that audio file to audacity and listen to it and snip out a 10 or 15 second part of it that seems to have a at least the sense of a of a beginning and an ending so that I can then put some video snippets to it and kind of follow the beat of the music and I've got an intro. Well, to do that right, I need to mute the mic so that I don't accidentally catch myself clearing my throat or something on top of the music. So that all worked out really well. And then I went on to Farming Simulator. I'm, I'm sitting there in the tractor talking to you right now. There we go. Now I'm looking right at you. And, uh... <laughs> Anyway, recorded all of the work I did here and then sat down to edit. And it's just the wonderful, quiet sounds of the birds and the wind. And every once in a while, a, an engine starts up. And then it goes off, and there's no me. So I've got an hour's worth of wonderful video. <laughs> you know what I might do? Maybe I'll stop right here and kind of time-lapse a few of the, of the little segments into it so you get a sense of what's happened. So, let's go for that. Okay, with that you have kind of a, um, a catching up of what I went through last time. Especially with this guy. This guy is tough. He does not want to... Uh, it doesn't make it easy on you, let's put it that way. There's so many controls with the same mouse that you're also using to move your camera around. And, and it, gets, uh, it gets quite confusing. So let's go ahead and attempt to load this guy up again already one issue that I've got with it is when I'm at a diagonal here not straight on this way or this way but 45 degrees out when I want to go off to a side first of all it's reversed I'm trying to go right right now and he's going right from this perspective right so that's reversed on me and then 
when I'm trying to go like up and down, well, this isn't a good example, but there are times when my mouse just naturally wants to go diagonal because the picture's diagonal. I'm trying to move what I'm seeing there by the same motion with my hand, and it actually does some up and down and side to side. So when I'm doing this guy, instead of moving up and down, I start extending because I feel like I'm going the other direction. Anyway, yeah, it's tough with the mouse. It is. It's a challenge. It's kind of fun. But no matter what I do, I do the opposite. <laughs> kind of given up. Uh, I wanted to go down there and I went up. So it's all just craziness. Let's rotate him around, extend him out. Ooh, I got that one right. Although I got to be in the centers. All right, everybody back up again. Swing this way, right about like that. And then swivel you guys out like so. And those logs are kind of doing the, uh, well, they're not now. There, as I move around, they're kind of doing the potty dance down there. They, they gotta go somewhere. Um, telescope, there, up, down. Drop it in between. There, gotcha, gotcha. And you close, which is this way? Yeah, but I was, I was stuck to the ground. So with that, close some more. Lift up just a little bit. It's a lot of weight. We're probably gonna see this tractor tip. Ugh. I'm going to drop the little ones, right? Now, if I were to shake it up and down with that claw... No, nope, it missed it. Okay. And we're still not centered. But is it enough? Boy, it's not. It's a lot of weight down there. Okay. Open it back up. And let's do our best to get much more accurate to the center. Rotate you like that. What do you think? I'm thinking a little bit more like so. All right, let's try for that. Now that is telescope in, down. Hmm, let's close you a bit. There we go. Now telescope in, down. No, nope, don't want to go down. Got to go out a little more, then down. Or just kind of bang it all around. Eventually it'll snag something accidentally. All right, get in there. Oh, almost had you. Right there. Close. Kind of. Shake it. Close. Shake it. <laughs> oh, come on. Snag it better than that. Well, and I'm still not centered. And you're going to slip, aren't you? Are you still trying to? Yeah. I think I'm about to give up on this guy I want to use the bed let's let's just swing you out of the way bring you out over there and let's go jump into the Manitou which is a couple of tabs there you are I think I'm gonna have much better success doing something like this there we are let's head out the, the back of this clearing like so all right, you're going to go down. Can I do it from in-cab? Oh, that feels so much more natural. It does. Um, but I can't tell my depth. That is the hardest part of this game. Okay, you up a little. You slide out further. Okay, what is that guy? He's there. No, i got to see out here. What am I not getting right here? Okay, you got to go up, and you've got to curl a little bit more. More like that. All right, out down a little further there now can I start to snag these guys which one is it it's this one okay down this one and kind of wiggle it around why did you ping swing back out there All right, you're going like this now you up and down I'm trying to get under them well, tell you what, if I do that and do a quick... No, nope, that wasn't it. I don't know that I will ever get used to which mouse button, which direction does what I'm trying to do. All right, you're going to do that. Now, I want to pivot you. There we go. 
Don't you fall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more time. You go like so. You open up. Yeah, let's drive you forward. Can I snag down in there? There. Wow, that didn't work. Never seen that claw go backwards before. Right in there. No, a little further. Gotcha. Now, close. Like so. A little further. Alright, that's all the way. Now, if I go down and back up a couple of times, can I get under there? I can't. I'm nowhere near center. If I were to pivot now, what would happen? Yeah. All right. One more try, then we're just going to go deliver the other one and call this just a failed experiment. <laughs> the guy can only take so much crushing defeat before he, he says enough. Okay, you there, you drop in, and... Extend, where am I? This way. Down. I want to pivot you some more. Like so. So you're going like this. Back up. Extend out. Drop down. Right there. Back up a little. Drag him a bit. Okay, gotcha. Try to snag you into there. And you're going. Right there. Now, if I start to pick you up, and then rotate you out. Don't you fall off of there. Like that. Now open up a little. And close. Well, that was painful, but something like that. Okay. This does not like to grab him from the ground. Just will not dig underneath. The game doesn't have the, uh, the ability to perceive the concept of you know, loose dirt and the a couple of inches underneath it. It's a one or a zero. It's all or nothing. All right, let's get you up a little higher. So I can't sneak up under something because it doesn't accept that there's any space between them. Unlike what it would be like in reality. All right, where are we at here? That's pretty good. Now, can I drop... I'm going to hit that post there. I can go all the way to... No, no, it goes right there. Okay, so let's just sneak off to the end over here a touch. Kind of like that. A little bit more. Alright. Drop you down. And actually come back up and pivot. Which is... Whoa, 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 what are you sneaking that way for? Let's do that before we lose this thing. And open was this one? Nope, that one. Alright. Up. And you stay in that orientation. Let's push some of these logs in. Right there. All right. Boy, it's quiet inside. Let's see if we can snag a couple of... There's one. Although he's uh, 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 going the wrong direction. Let's see. If I were to try to hook like this... Just sneak into there. Nope, not enough depth. Let's go forward a little bit. There, now sneak in. Is that going to touch? There. Now if I were to lift as I went forward. Can I get you lined up properly? Arrgh! Something like that. Let's go a little further. A little more. And then up. Ah, kind of. Okay, now tip you down again. Not you. You. There you are. All right, drop you in. Let's catch this guy. Nope, I think everything's as far as they're going to go. Okay. All right, let's get another one. Yeah. Let's get just a couple more. I don't know that I'm really going to fill this guy up. We get a sense of how it works, and it doesn't work that well. At least it doesn't work well with me. Let's see if I can get a hold of something over here. What I want to do 
could just drop the, uh, the bottom of the forks on the ground, just scoop up underneath that whole pile and snag it. I just wish it worked that way. I'm going to try one more time. We're going uphill this time. It did not work well going downhill. But maybe I can do some kind of damage here. Oops. Let's try the forward reverse. A little further to the center. Oh, oh he's coming to meet me. There we go. Right there. Flatten you out. Now, if I just ram it, what would happen? Man, it's like a wall on the end of that fork. If I tuck you further and ram it, it will not... Ah, finally. I show up against a wall to do it. Okay. No, 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 no. Not that. I just want to close that clamp. Thank you. Now, I want to pivot you guys. And I want to open that clamp a little bit more. And lift. And then close it. Close it is that way. Alright. Can I get these guys in there without spilling them? Feels like carrying a bunch of peas across the room on, the, on a fork. <laughs> you know, it's all done by sheer will. No! I gotta get that boom in. He's just sticking out too far. That's up and down, right? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Don't flip him off the end. Oh, who put this tree in the way? Alright, something like that. Am I high enough? I think I am. In there. Let's go a little bit closer to the front. Like so. Now, if I were just to pivot you, which is left mouse side to side. Can I put you in there? Okay. And then right mouse side to side is the claw. But not that way. Let's try that way. Right there. Now, straight up. And that releases me. Okay. And let's see if I can just shove him back in. Nope, I can't. He's wedged in too tight. Can I do it from here? Nope. He's jammed in there. Okay. Let's pop back in here and we'll fix him later. We'll find him on the side of the road where he flipped out of the truck and yeah, deal with him next time. <laughs> like that pallet of uh, poplars back there. All right, we're going to try this again. That was semi-successful in a very noobish way. All right, you're coming down. All right, right mouse pivots that guy and drops him and swings my camera around like so. Top claw is good enough. Let's try the other forward. Swing it like that and ram it. Ah, okay. Well, we got two. I think I better just be thankful for that. Maybe the other two in the next load. We'll see. Now, you stay like... Actually, you come this way. Like that. Will you guys roll in further? You want to. You want to real bad. I go forward. Now, wiggle you. Up and down. <laughs> okay, close the claw. And that's not... It's the opposite of whatever we want to do. All right, let's take you up in the air. There we go. A little top-heavy there. Keep it nice and slow. The Manitou's got to be so heavy to take something like this. I should go a little further back without flipping over. All right, that's getting pretty close. Zoom in here out of that tree. Then I can't see the, uh, the load up top. Need to see how he lines up with the end of the trailer. That's getting close. Let's go down and fine tune it. Alright, we're sticking over a little bit there. Decent here, though. Let's back up just a touch. That should get me inside the bed. Okay. 
So from there, let's try to pivot, which is right mouse sideways. And then up and pivot some more. And then open the opposite of what I wanted to do right there. Oh, what a mess. Now what? Let's pivot this guy up and hit him. Put him in place. Like so. Good. Back up and go forward a little bit and snag this lower one. There. Back that up. Okay. And, oops, the other way. Push him back in. Oh, I'm doing this by sheer willpower. Okay, got you. Don't, 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 don't you get back in there. And pivot. Good. Put you in place. Ah, it's looking good now. Kinda. <laughs> Let's fix some of this. Yeah, I like the telehandler better than the buffalo. Alright. Can I do this in cab? What is it I want to try to do? I want to take you down. The controls are easier to do in here. It feels more natural. It's just that I can't get a grasp on the depth. I want to come in there. Good, I got him. I want to swing him up and push. Like that. Ah, that felt good. Drop you down. Um... What do we have here? They're all in the air. They actually are. Now, depth-wise, there's one at the bottom that's not in place. And that one's not. I could push a few of these yet. Okay. Let's come up and work on... Let's see. Pivot him down. Him up. I think this guy needs some banging on. Right there. Okay. And that big one at the bottom is what feels like it's it's in the wrong place. If I were to do that and drive forward. Urgh. I'm pushing something. Okay. Now that little tiny one below, that's a problem. Boy, that's a mess. The other one all settled in nice once I got enough logs on top. They all started working themselves around and... and going parallel with each other. So let's see if we can't just get some more weight on top and see if they start to drop into their slots better. Let's see if we can do this from in-cab. I'm curious. Am I clear there? Yeah. Alright. You drop. That angle's pretty good right there. Okay, we hit. So come up a little. Let's get a little closer to center. Now, where's my claw? Claw is... Oh, it's, he's in the air already. Okay. All right. Now, we're just about there. Drop down, hit, and floor it. And I want to pivot. I'm not going to get it. Okay. No, no, no. Don't do that. Let's just back out. And up in the air. Like that. If you don't move too far, I can get one more try at this. Although I can't really see where I am. Uh, this way. There, there I am. Okay. Right there. Alright, let's try this again. You're going to come down. You were pivoted too far last time. Need you a little bit closer to flat. Still a little bit much. Right about there. Alright, in the air. And let's make sure that he's up as far as he goes. He is. Alright, try this again. Going to come in real close to the buffalo. Might actually hit. No, we're good. All right, now we're going to swing around and try this in slow motion at first. Make sure everything's lining up properly. And there's a stump in there, too. I've got to worry about him. Drop down lower. No, I just cannot do this from inside. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, you stop moving. Right there. All right, hop into there. Yeah, much better out here. But I cannot get under that thing. Ah, that's looking good. Drop down. Now, if that will hold enough for me to... Nope, I've only got one. Okay. Well, we'll just do one then. 
Get you up in the air. And swing you around while I still have room. Alright, that's looking pretty good. I want to get this to the other side over there. That's where a lot of the crooked ones are. Get some serious weight on top of them. Right there. That's fairly well aligned. Alright. That swing is that motion. How am I at this end? Not good. Right there. Okay. And you're well aligned. Okay, you guys are missing. Good. Pivot you in. Though I'm still hitting over there, aren't I? Not really. It's making contact, so it's... The game is... Having a little trouble with it, but... I think we're okay. So if I just rolled you off right there, which is... Like that. Alright. That works. Kind of. Up. Alright, let's get that last log. That one, I suspect I'm going to have to just drop down and, and pinch it. I don't think I'm going to get under it. Not like so. Alright, drop in. Not that far. Boy, I tell you, the hydraulics in these things are so strong. I know that front loaders and buckets can be used to lift up the tractor and, and uh, kind of pivot them around as they need to, but I get the feeling with this thing, if I kept going, I could flip this tractor up in the air. I don't think that's all that realistic. All right, that was a good grip on that one. quite lined up. Let's try that again. That's better. Alright. I've also got to keep in mind these yellow posts here. Yellow and black posts as I'm coming in. They're contact points as well. Right there. Alright. Where do you need to be? Kind of where you are. Like that. You're not lined up properly. That's because I'm hitting over there if I do. Let's drop you right there. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good here. Let's go to that other side and try those again. Though, I'm kind of thinking it might be better if I just drove this thing forward. Which, from this orientation, is backward. Let's do that. Yeah, I think I can deal with that better. Though I kind of wish he wasn't there, but I'll make it work. Alright, what's the plan here? That's all pushing uphill. Let's try to scoop them. Right about there. Yeah, something like that. Okay, down, dig in a little bit, floor it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd think there is a steel I-beam welded across the end of those things. Let's curve in at the same time. Ha-ha! All right, scoop you in. I'd love to get that third one. Not going to get it, though. Just making it worse. Okay. You go in there, you... Nope, that's the wrong one. Ah, oh, mixing up the, the left mouse and right mouse can be quite dangerous in this world. Okay, scooping under again. Let's see. Keep the pressure going forward. Wiggle you as I go. Yeah, that kind of worked. Okay. Uh, right mouse this time. Do that. Left mouse, pivot. Lift. I have to talk myself through this. Open up again. Close. Nope, that's all I'm going to get there. Alright. 
Although this sometimes settles it. Not this time. Okay. Whoa. A little tipsy there. I can see where this would be fun as a multiplayer. <laughs> Everyone waiting for the other one to, to do his job and comical how difficult it is to do that job. Uh, let's pivot out there. Not that far. There. Oh boy, we're doing the splits here. Yeah. Jostle it around there. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to stop there. Now, swing the top one out. You kind of go into place. Let's push you forward a little. Good. Perfect. Now, bring you back. And then pivot you in place. Almost. Nope. Stop. Didn't look like it was even making contact there. Ah. Okay. You nestled in pretty good. All right. A few more on top of that. And we'll almost have a load. Pivot you that way. Like so. I'm going to snag in this little one and try to drag it... I'm too far on the ground. Drag it sideways back into the pile again. Is that even a thing? Not really. Okay. I'll have to do him. In fact, let me just jump out and do that separately. So it isn't uh, going to make everything else difficult. That didn't work. Okay, I'll try that again. Don't hit the E to pick up. Use the, the mouse button. Wow, it's like something's snagging it. Alright, you stay in the air. Alright, strafe sideways. Good. Up like that and jump. Nope. Ouch. One more time. Actually, I'm probably going to be easiest going forward and then strafing in. What'd that look like? Yep, that worked. Okay. So what do we have left over here? Three? Three and a half. All right. Plan. Probably this way. And it may not work until I push them all the way up. In fact, if I could push him up against that hill, that would make the rest even easier. Let's try that. Let's drop down in. And just start to pivot the whole pile around. Like that. Can I actually get under it right now? Ooh, I can. Okay. Then I was going to make another run at it, but I don't need to now. You go down. Flatten down, flatten down. Okay. Oops. The other forward. Although that one being out of place is really going to be a problem. He is. I'm going to back out and pivot him. In fact, let's just deal with him separately. Because he's not going to uh, be a team player there. All right. Up. Watch those stumps. They'll throw everything, jostle everything around. Up a little, give it in. Something like that, though. Yeah, I guess I'm... Yep, I guess that works. All right, where do I need the weight? I need to pivot him a little bit more. Hmm. Like so, and then in. Still too much. All right, let's go back this way and then that way. That should do it. I see it's scooting down the down the log fork there. Well, better just get him off the fork before he scoots all the way into the cab of the buffalo. Okay, that's kind of working. And if I just let him go, which is that way. Yep, 
He worked out pretty good. I feel like the load is lifting up at the front. I'm aiming toward the ground over here. Huh. I wonder if I need to get the buffalo a little more flatter ground. Yeah, we'll see. See what, in fact, let's see what, what, what I can jostle around right now before I put any more weight in there. Alright, drop you in. Let's go into cab. There we go. Flatten you out, up, close. Yeah, when you're in cab, the controls make so much more sense. My brain is making making uh, connections that seem to work. Don't do it from out there. Boom. Okay, now what I'm wondering is can I tip anything in from down below? Okay, that just pushed me completely backward. Um, let's try from over here. Like that. Now, tip you guys in just to snag it and push the bottom. Guess I need to drive forward while I'm doing it. Nope. Okay, back down. That's all I'm going to get out of it. Okay. So, let's see. Pivot you back up. And, alright, let's try it from, from the, in the cab this time. Something like that. Drop down, flatten... Okay, touch. That's a little bit less. Okay. Right there. Floor it. Underneath. Ah, that's feeling pretty good. Let's scoop you in. A little further. Come on, big guy. There you are. Pivot you over the top. Lift. Everything with the baby. Okay. Let's pivot you up a little bit more. And lift. Now, I can't see them anymore. Well, I guess I kind of can. Okay. Let's see if we can work our way around this whole guy. Missing the stumps and not dropping any of that on my head. You guys obeying up there? I'm not going to see the distance very well to the front of the the bed over there. Yeah. I'm going to have to stay out here to be able to aim that part. At this point, you'd probably have someone out there kind of talking you through it. And I don't have the advantage of that. And look at that log sliding forward like that. Oh, that's frustrating. That is frustrating. Like, I just need to drop this thing before I lose it completely. But I've got to get further away so I can pivot in this. Right there. Alright. Yeah, a little bit more. Nope, the other way. Yep, I'm losing them completely. I have to give up there. Give it down. And down further. Go forward. Right there. There it is. And can I drop them? There. Back out. <laughs> yep, that load's hanging low. Alright, um, let's tuck that one in. And I think the last piece of log down there I can toss in by hand. Right there. aim that thing. Nope. There it is. He's in as far as he's going to go. Alright. Let's just put him back over here. Is there a chance I can get these on? I just have to come back with a pickup for these little things. The thought is to go up like this. Grab them again. There. Yep. 
can't really fling him, and he's not going to stay back here. He's just going to fall off. Well, I could do something like that. Okay. This guy, sort of same thing. I've got to hold from an end and strafe him in. So I can't get over the top. So the mechanics of throwing logs are not quite developed that well yet. <laughs> oh boy, this guy's too heavy. Yeah, I need to manipulate him. Actually, I can do that from here. That'll be fine. Alright, swing this guy around. Woohoo! Like so. And, nope, not you. Me. I need to get closer, not drive closer. Okay. You drop in. Pivot in. Drop some more. Where am I at? Actually, I'm clear over here. You go back up, and you drop down, and you telescope in. Okay. Over. Down. Alright, that's getting closer. Now what? Let's pivot around like that. Now where is the end of that log? Who's over there? Okay, so out. Okay, get this orientation. Need to drop you down some. Need to pivot that guy out some. That's what I want. Now when he swings in, what's he deal? He's getting there. He's got to go like so. Pivot in. Yeah. Something like that. Um, okay. Cab. Get where it feels a little more natural. You go out like that. And you... Up. And telescope, right? Yep, I can't see it. There we go. Up, telescope. Now, are we far enough with the end? Nope. Up, telescope more. Down. No! Yeah, there's just no sense of depth for me. I cannot do that. Finally, I'm past it. And what am I going to do with it? Let's pivot you. Well, never mind. I was going to snag that little one and push him back in, but let's see if I can up over. Open. Drop. Close. Lift. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> and then let's lift up a lot more so I have room to tuck. Which is actually pull him in like that. Alright, that works. And then open up. <sighs> let's go grab that little one. I guess I hope it's one that I can lift. Yeah. Oh, he's wedged in there kind of tight. Come on. Come on, break free. There you go. Pick you up. You like so. Straight up in the air. And run. I let go. Alright, something like that. Now, in the trailer beds, you'll see the straps, but they don't show up here. So this one, what was it on the other one? Uh, fasten belt L. Okay, let's see if we can watch this. Like that, and L. That strapped through some of them. Well, we're in the air. I wonder if there's any advantage to... Well, I was going to say grab onto those logs and clamp them while we're driving. But if I ever accidentally touch my mouse button, is it going to flip logs all the way across the uh, across the map? Huh. Let's extend out. Up. Out. Down. And close. Uh, 
Oh, we'll just kind of leave it like that. All right, let's see what that does. So, where are we and what's next? We've got essentially two loads here. Let's take them out to the train. Looking at probably next episode for actually doing something with them. Huh, we're at 40-some minutes already. Yeah, let's get one load driven to the train. Maybe I'll drive the other load to the train. Oh, I'm... that's why. Control B. I am doing everything backwards here. Yeah, chairs moved around. Let's jump in cab, too. Let's take this guy out to the train. And what I think I mentioned last time, but you didn't hear me. It's frustrating driving this kind of a... This kind of a rig that, that steers this way, where it pivots in the middle. Especially with the... Uh, this guy. you got a log attached to the end out there. Let's see, that's out there. And you're trying to steer, and it swings that load way out ahead of you. Just, you know, all that weight on the end is so exaggerated that you can't just make a simple turn. That's mostly because I'm playing with the keyboard. So, while it's frustrating for me to do it, if, if you've got a steering wheel, then it's more like this. Just a constant, you know, nice, slow, easy movement. Because the steering wheel isn't full on or off. It's, you know, gradual. You can just take it a little tiny turn to hold it there. I can't. As soon as I let go, it swings all the way back. So, trouble I'm having isn't necessarily trouble that, that you might have. You might, if you've got the steering wheel, then, you know, this is actually a lot of fun. But not as much with the keyboard. But anyway, let's get back into here, get this guy over there, and call this one. That's not him. Well, we'll take this one. We'll do that. And I will stay outside. Whoa, missed the poplars. So you guys can see the, the logs and, and the load, see how it's uh, interacting. I'm curious to see if there's any movement in those logs or if it's really locked in solid. Previous versions of the game did not have those straps. Oh, yep, that's a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah, um... Um... I'm thinking that's a screenshot. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. This is uh, Sideways Noble Rambler, and um, yeah, I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>